are saying that those who get into ISI, they are already good in studies. That's why they, they get the time to cover all the PYQs and everything. But ma'am, I already have this lag in maths. So like my parents also say that don't dream about ISI. It's not your cup of tea. Um, I get very like demotivated and I think that maybe ISI is not my thing. I should not target ISI. I should not try for ISI. See that... Okay, then if what you are saying is true, then only people who are earlier, who are good in studies get into ISI. Then though, there must only be a few particular colleges which may say ISI mein hota hai. Like let's say if you talk about Calcutta, then sort of Devias se bachcho ka hona chahiye. Then what about our students who from Sri Rampur College, Gokhale College, and from all these colleges, Maulana, Azad, and Scottish Church. Historically, their marks are from the Xavier's kids. So uh, they should not have to how do people from every college make it? SRCC is one of the best colleges, but uh, does that mean that your toppers of SRCC were not done? I came second in my third year in SRCC. The girl who came first in third year, she tried twice to get into DSE. It was not done. It was the highest marks in SRCC in third year. It was not done. And the average student in my batch was the average student. There was no toppers in the toppers. So why did it is it is just your hard work and your aptitude to solving questions. Kisi kisi ka theoretical aptitude hota hai, kisi kisi ka solving questions ka aptitude hota hai. ISI mein aapko question solve karna na chahiye. Woh ek skill hai jo unfortunately humare education system mein kisi ko nahi aati. Because we are never really tested on our application skills. Humara CBSE, ISC bol do, ya humara DUCU ke final exams bol do. They all tend to be very straightforward. Itna usme aapko apna application nahi utna karna pata. Straightforward hota hai. This is the first exam jo most of us de rahe hai jo straightforward nahi hai. So you have to develop everybody has to develop those application skills. So if you develop it, you will be able to do better than the others, whatever your background is. If you haven't developed it, your background was very good, you were in class 12, you were in graduation, you were in SRCC, but you won't have admission because those problem-solving skills you have not developed.